up, YouTube? Yo, Danny Garcia, man. I don't know what he's thinking about, man. He's got to stop it, man. Um, they talk about a fight with Andre Berto. <laughs> You know, um, I think it's supposed to be like, what, sometime in September? And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I was like, no. So, yeah, September, 20, September 24th, you know, and I'm thinking, it's like, what? I was like, nah, man, you can't do this. You can't fight Andre Berto. And I know Berto is kind of highly ranked in the WBC, but that don't make it right, though, man, you know? But I mean Berto. I mean it's it's all good for Berto. You know it's all good for Berto. No, I don't think anybody's expecting him to win. Um, I mean he's got a punch. You know he's got a puncher's chance. Uh, the way he set set up Victor Ortiz was was a uh, was a uh, great. You know, but uh, no, no man, Danny's he's. He's got to step it up, man. He's he's got to step it up, man. It's it's getting kind of hard to uh, you know, I'm a fan of Danny Garcia. It's kind of hard to defend him. Not not that not that I need to, but he he, he needs to go on and do something else, man. He only had like one fight this year versus Robert Guerrero. Um, in the past year or so. I mean, the only good fights he had was Lamont Peterson. I I thought. To me, I mean, you could make a good argument that he lost that fight. You know, he hasn't been looking good in, in the past, you know, two years or so. You know, because cause you got Marisa Herrera. Some people say he lost that fight. Raw soccer, you know, he's like dead man walking. You know what I'm saying? Body bag, you know, um, easy pickings. You know, it's like a maybe bag of rocks, you know. Um... Lamont Peterson, if that if that was a story, if it, if if only had like maybe three more rounds, if, if I mean on game plan alone, Lamont Peterson won that fight. Just got started a little bit late, but I mean he looked great in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like if he ever get like a win for losing, that I mean that would be the fight right there. Cause uh, if if you took out points. Or whatever like that. If you just took out the twelve rounds and you just like like who who actually won, you know, with the storybook ending, it would have been Lamont Peterson. Then you got Paulie Malinaji. It's like okay, you know, what young what 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 young cat is not beating Paulie? You know what I'm saying? Any any young cat, any young star is not beating Paulie Malinaji right now. You know. Then you got Robert Guerrero. He he's been shot. He, you know he's been shot ever since he moved up in weight. Uh, he 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 don't have it no more. You know what I'm saying? It's the same dude who lost almost lost to a uh, who was that guy named Aaron uh, Martinez or something like that. Yeah, Aaron Martinez out of nowhere. You know. So anyway, moving along. He's been having some Twitter war with Crawford. Man, Crawford's been calling him out. And Danny was like, oh, just call Al or something like that, man. Let's call Al. I tell Bob to call Al. But, uh, yeah, man, that, that's what he should be focused on, man. He should be focused on some of the, the the top guys at 147, man. He shouldn't be focused on Andre Berto, you know what I'm saying? And if anything, if he, if he's forced to fight Andre Berto, he just, Berto, he should just drop the belt. To me. And try to make some relative fights, man. These guys rely on the belts too much. They put too much stock in these belts. Too much to me. Uh, I mean, they're already highly ranked. He's undefeated. You know, uh, he's, he can make a lot of matchups happen. Um, I mean, he, he do got other sides. He get, I mean, you got Timothy Bradley, Jesse Vargas, Earl Spence. Uh, he can fight Lamont Peterson again. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's talking about fighting somebody else. He he he's kind of running scared in, in my book. But you got Jeff Horn. Um, who else you got, man? You got Jeff Horn, at least Felix Diaz. Uh, you know, you got Jeff Horn, at least Fe and Felix Diaz, man. Jeff Horn and Felix Diaz, two young guys who are uh, you know kind of hot. Jeff Horn's kind of hot, well, New Zealand or Australia, where, wherever he's fighting out of. Then you got Felix uh, Diaz coming out of Dominican Republic, you know. So, um, 
Yeah, man, you guys let me know what you think, man. You think it's just gold. Keith, Keith Thurman's out there, man. Excuse me, man, you got Keith Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman would be better. So it's just somebody other than, you know, Andre Berto. Somebody fresh, man. Jose Benavidez or something like that. You know, just anybody, anybody. And I'm, I'm sort of disappointed, man, because, you know, you want to see some of these top guys fight each other, but. Man, the uh, 147 is kind of like panning out, man. Just kind of panning out. Just nobody's really tanking the range, you know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of young guys coming up, and they really can't show up because you got a lot of guys that got names at 147 trying to dictate everything, trying to say, oh, uh, I'm too good for this, I'm too good for that. But um, hopefully Earl Spence gets gets it on, uh, knocks out Leonard Bundu. And he puts himself position in position to get the IBF belt, and he can make some stuff happen with some of these young fighters, and the 147 like Jeff Horn, and uh, maybe this uh, Oscar, uh, well, Antonio uh, Ro- Razo, Rosgo, whatever his name is, uh, aka uh, Relentless. So maybe maybe they can get it on. All right, man, y'all, let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later.